Hi friends, today we are going to see how to handle Jenkins job if JMeter test fails. One of the QA Insights reader asked this question, so I thought of putting up a video. So we will see how to handle your Jenkins job if JMeter test fails. First we will see the positive scenario. So this is my simple uh, JMeter script where I have uh, uh, invoking the example.com and if I run this uh, script, it will uh, uh, give a success message for all the requests. Okay. So I'm just going to save this script and I'm going to open my uh, Jenkins and I'm going to click on build now. I have already created uh, the particular uh, uh, JMeter uh, uh, script. So if I click on build now, it will uh, execute and then it will uh, give us a message uh, the Jenkins job is uh, being successful. So I have just configured for 15 seconds. We will see once the test is ended. Yeah, now the test is completed. Here you could see the finished is uh, success. But assume that your uh, script is failing at some point of time and you want to stop your uh, Jenkins job. So how do we handle that? So to demonstrate purpose, I'm going to simulate a, a failure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this path slash fail. So in real world, example.com slash fail doesn't exist. So basically it will do, it will throw a 404 error. Okay. So assume that we have some failures in our test and to instruct Jenkins. So we have to handle the condition in our JMeter script. So to do that, we need to and, uh, add a listener called JSR223Listener. And in JSR223Listener, you need to add this particular script. So it's a Groovy script, select the language as Groovy and write this uh, code. If not, previous sampler is successful, then terminate the JMeter test. So if the JMeter test is terminated, it will internally report to Jenkins as a failure. So now I'm going to enable this particular uh, uh, element and I'm going to save this. And I'm going back to my project and I'm clicking on build now. So now the test has been started. I'm going inside the log. So basically it should fail. This Jenkins job should fail because we have injected the failure and the JMeter will report that failure to Jenkins. And here the build step execute batch command marked as failure. So the final status of this particular job is failed. So likewise, we want to handle any uh, reporting, any failures. So we have to handle it in JMeter. Okay. And uh, there is to, if you want to parse some uh, uh, console logs, there is a plugin called log parser. So you can set the rule in the log parser as a failure or info or debug. So that is also possible. But if you, ha if you want to handle anything with respect to uh, JMeter uh, test, then you need to handle it in JMeter, not in Jenkins. So I hope this uh, video is useful. Please subscribe to QA Insights podcast and QA Insights channel for more such tips and tricks. Thank you.